they just do it. I mean, <laughs> with the Arizona Constitution, it says we the people of Arizona of the state of Arizona, comma, grateful to Almighty God for our liberties. All right, I mean, grateful to Almighty. They're grateful to an almighty God that was only able to create this. I see no reason to be grateful. Especially, you know, they're talking about the God of Abraham. You know they're talking about the God of Abraham. And the God of Abraham is certainly not a God we should be grateful to. I mean, get real. But anyhow, well, yeah, I was thinking about the county, right? They gave themselves power to take my house if I don't pay them. That's bottom line. That's what they did. Some people, I don't know, a long time, what was it? Arizona became a state. Early 1900s? I don't remember. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's a viewpoint. I downloaded a viewpoint. Arizona statehood story. <laughs> July 22nd, 2014. At 10.52 a.m., 95 degrees. 100 years ago today, the cream of Arizona territory... <laughs> The cream of Arizona Territory's manhood gathered in Phoenix, writing a constitution they hoped would bring statehood. <sighs> They'd already been at it for nearly two months and had weeks yet to go, but like every day of this convention, November 28, 1910, was a day that carried trepidation as well as excitement, foreboding as well as dreams. <laughs> there we go. I mean, yeah, it's a viewpoint, but there you go. Chaplin is thankful. <laughs> Taft refuses to budge, but Taft wasn't kidding about that. Jana Bombersbach is a longtime Arizona journalist and award-winning author who intends to dance her socks off to celebrate Arizona's statehood centennial in 2012. But this, oh, when was this written? Oh, it was written. Oh, it was written by Janet Palmerspach. <laughs> that makes it even better. <laughs> I mean, did I say your name right? Janet Palmerspach. No, oh, this doesn't sound right. Palmerspach. But she's still alive. Well, she wrote. She was in 2010. <laughs> well, whatever. Oh shit. The Reverend Seaborn Crutchfield of Tempe gave the opening prayer as the convention began. Quote, as King Solomon prayed for guidance to wisely rule a great people. <laughs> a great people. Yes, we are great people. Great people. Even though it's a cause and effect world. So we ask the... We ask the well, say King Solomon. Yeah, we're talking about the God of Abraham to direct us in the adoption of a wise and just constitution. Okay, just <laughs> yes. Well, see, you gave us liberties to do this kind of thing, so we're gonna do it. Chaplain is by the end of the session. The chaplain was giving thankful prayers. He had heard so little profanity in the course of the session. <laughs> The Republican reported, but then also noted the chaplain sits out of earshot of the press gallery where daily debates broke out in the conservative, the progressive, and the anarchist sections. Holy shit. Is she serious? Or should anarchists be in quotes? I thought they didn't. Whatever. I didn't think the anarchists were... <laughs> well, anarchy's been around a long time. But there is... Well, I don't know. 
But there's time for profanity yet. The first will be when the campaign for and against the Constitution gets good and warm. Another will be when the President and the Congress gets done with it. Oh, yeah, the, well, yeah, the Congress, right? The <laughs> Senator to sue another group of people who just wrote a document. Hey, write us a document and give ourselves power because God says we can do it. <laughs>